Hey guys, today we're gonna upgrade this bumper car you see here. I did one earlier where I put a uh, drill battery in it, but this time we're gonna upgrade the motor. So originally I had six volt motors in this bumper car, and uh, now I'm gonna do 12 volt motors with the gearboxes in the bumper car, and let's see if we can make this thing even crazier. Unfortunately, recently my daughter crashed the power wheels car and broke the axle. Really sad day, really bad day, not happy about it, but hey, that's just how it goes, right? So I now have uh, 12 volt uh, motors and gearboxes that I can throw in this bumper car, and uh, we'll just try to bring new life uh, into this one and, um, you know, make the most of a bad situation. So as you can see here, this is the underside of the bumper car, and... Uh, here are the stock gearboxes along with the six volt motor. Um, these are really tiny, um, but they pack a whole lot of punch when supplied with 20 volts uh, from the drill battery. However, today we're gonna put a 12 volt uh, set of motors along with the gearboxes from the Power Wheels car into here. And here's uh, the, the Power Wheels car. If you want to see how it ran uh, prior to this, uh, please check out the video on which I threw a drill battery in um, into the vehicle and it was just screaming down the street. It was definitely an awesome sight to see and the kids loved it. Neighborhood kids loved it. Um, so it's, it's a real sad day that this thing is all busted up and uh, broken, but figured I'd bring it over here. Ah, just cracked the axle. Yeah, yeah, not good. Tore it away. Um... Yeah, my daughter ran straight into the curb at full power, and uh, it was it was just quite quite a show. So what we're gonna do is these are actually brand new motors and gearboxes. Hopefully, you can see here. Um, so twelve volt motors uh, along with fresh gearboxes. We're gonna swap those out and put that into the bumper car. First thing I had to do was take the wheels off to get to the gearboxes. From there, I was able to unsecure the units from the car. Next step was to undo the nuts holding in the crossbar or axle of the bumper car. Once one of the nuts were off, it was easy to pull off the six volt gearboxes and take out the bar. Since the motors from the power wheels had the original power connections, I had to clip them off and add separate leads to work on the control levers of the bumper car.
After both motors were modified, I discovered a small snag after I installed them in place. So this is an interesting situation that I'm running into. Uh, the gearboxes are a little longer. Um, and so the, the axle was long enough for when it was in the six volt uh, gearboxes. Um, and there's just a little bit of play here in the threads. Um, but unfortunately, I can't back out this, um, this bolt, so it's kind of jammed in there. And uh, here's what I get in the process. So I, I, I'll either have to shave this down to make this fit um, or find a way to back out this nut and uh, get just a little more real estate on that thread. I decided to drill out one of the wheels in the hopes that the nut could fit within it but the bits I had weren't large enough and I just wasn't happy with how it was going to turn out. So I clamped down the rod and used my impact driver to take out the stuck nut and it worked like a charm. Should have done that from the start. Now I had enough room on each side of the axle to securely install the nuts on each side. If you've made it this far in the video, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Please give a like and be sure to subscribe too to support the channel. Quick op tests confirmed that everything was good to go. The new motors sat in a different spot, so I had to relocate the cooling fans. To keep the fans in place, I used Gorilla Glue Epoxy, which has a strong enough hold even under all the movements and bumps during the vehicle's use. The new location allows for the cooling fans to blow directly down the case of the motors. I figured this would offer much better cooling of the motors as well. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Next order of business was to make sure the gearboxes weren't going to shift when the motors turned on. So I did the easiest thing by zip tying them to the frame. Real professional work, right? The original smaller motors fit within a metal loop, but the 12 volt motors were too big, so I had to improvise and have them rest on the loops. Last step was to add some Loctite to the nuts and tighten them down to ensure they will stay on during operation. So now that the Loctite is dry, let's put this to the test and see how these new motors and gearboxes perform. One back, one forward. Spin it. Ugh. Can I ride it outside? Right, spin it.
So there you have it, guys. Uh, I would say this was a huge success. Really happy with how this turned out. Uh, taking just a crappy situation of my daughter breaking her Power Wheels car, uh, pulling those motors and gearboxes out and throwing them into this bumper car to just make it totally epic. Um, I don't know how I could make this any better other than probably increasing the power output. Um, but for now, I would say uh, just a great outcome to this project. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. If you have a bumper car that's like this as well, uh, I highly recommend you try this out. It's a, actually an easy fix. Um, just hit me up in the comments and let me know if you have any questions on how to uh, take your six volt bumper car to the next level with some new motors. Um, or if you have a 12 volt bumper car, uh, how you can do a rewire so you don't have to worry about the pesky uh, circuit boards and controller boards that might explode if you do a drill battery upgrade. If you really like this, uh, this video and you like what this channel is doing, please hit that like and subscribe button and follow more. Uh, I have more upcoming projects. Uh, your support helps out the channel, help me grow, and uh, help me really just develop uh, this, uh, this hobby and uh, kind of passion of mine. So really do appreciate all the support, guys. Ho again, hope you enjoyed this video. Do great things. Remember, don't just fix it, make it better. I'll see you next time.